All right, today's daily meditation on day one of Oprah and Chopra's 21 days to discover the meaning in your life. Yeah, I signed up for this thing because, you know, everybody's doing it. It's all over the Facebook. And, uh, first day, seven minutes into the goddamn thing, I'm taking notes like you're supposed to. Well, I'm supposed to because I'm a visual learner with glaucoma. When they say, close your eyes, get comfortable, relax, time to meditate. And I'm like, what the fuck? I just had coffee. I haven't had any marijuana. I'm just trying to, you know, you're supposed to like be getting me going by like having me think about like beliefs. I don't know what the fuck I thought it was for 21 days. But it's meditate with Deepak Chopra. Now, I loved his spirit, seven spiritual laws of success. Found that book during my first divorce. And it did provide me some great guidance. I applied it uh, pretty directly. I don't know, a former student of mine, I think, work for Chopra. I gotta contact you, Rachel. I'll see what's up, Twinsy. What's up with this quack? Anyway, I believe in, you know, basic shit that's not defined religiously, and that's something that they did point out in the first seven minutes, which I did like. Cho Deepak Chopra, you know, the spirituality and beliefs he's talking about aren't religious or dogmatic in nature. It's if you want to apply your beliefs as such, but he's talking about larger concepts. So I like it, but God damn it, I can't relax. So I'm using, this is Rob's rosin tech maker. <laughs> I can flat iron when he had his glorious beard. Getting ready to go out in the day. Try to make it on a Monday. And I can't even fucking press play. You know, so then my brain starts freaking out and I'm doing my hair. I'm like, ah, I should record this stupid brain shit. Because I can't slow this shit down to find the space between thoughts. And that's what relaxation and meditation, at least transcendental meditation, as it was explained to me by people from the Maharishi University in Fairfield, Iowa. You know, is finding that space between thoughts. And my thoughts overlap and collide, contradict, make me laugh spontaneously at myself and the world. And make me cry at myself and the world every day. And where's the space between that shit? I don't know. So in 21 days, I'm going to try to learn. I've done it before. I've tried. Oh, my God. I've tried everything. 50 fucking two. All I want to do is tame my fucking hair. All right. These are random videos spaced throughout the last couple of years. May or may not ever be seen. Today's uh, an interesting day because this hoodie up here reminds me. I just read on the Facebook. I've reduced it down to 150 or so real life people I know for the most part. Just not all this random activism shit where I expect something from an industry that's gone from altruistic to capitalistic right in front of my eyes. I don't blame them. If I would have been on the startup or had an opportunity to help somebody grow a company realistically and in felt proprietary to all that. I wouldn't help the little people, the sick people, the disabled people, whatever either. But that's not been my lot in life. Everyone's asking me for whole plant extracts. I have no idea how to go about doing that. Including, you know, family members who are dying right now. So it's become pretty real. But I've been getting calls from handicapped people, from disabled people who have either made the trip and now don't know how to access services to people who want to make the trip here to Colorado for freedom, but you know, wait. Because they don't help people here. They can't. Too many people coming. And they got their heads up their asses. I have catch-22s in my catch-22s. All I know, it's a full-time job being poor. I'm lucky because I've had a couple angels along the way that have just dropped me a couple hundred here and there and saved my life or fixed my windshield on my car so I'm warm in the winter. Thank you. You know who you are. Huh. All right, fuck I'm old. What is this shit? Oh, I, I'm covering up my del delicious shirt. They forgot the and or some shit. Put it in your pipe. Smoke it. Like there's no punctuation here. This is me off. Perhaps if I got cold, my nipple could provide punctuation. All right, so my name is Lisa Jokunzi. 
It's November the fuck second, <laughs> 2015. Uh, living up here in at 8601 feet altitude in Empire, Colorado, with my 16 year old man child. Life's good. Speaking of nipples. All right, that's the artwork his friend did. Uh, if you know the rage song, it I believe is. Fuck you! I won't do what you tell me! Wow. That was almost screamo without trying. Okay, have a good day. <laughs> Meditate. <laughs> I'll take my nose. Okay, you're stupid.